Thanks, man. Hey folks, Jerome Forsford here. It's 1.42 p.m. on July 21st, 2024 in Fairview, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It's 22 degrees outside on a cloudy afternoon in the city. In this video, I travel for two kilometers starting on the Aqua Bus at the Granville Island Ferry Dock, then ride the Aqua Bus across Falls Creek and to the Hornby Street Ferry Dock, continuing north on the Seawall Path and along Beach Ave, ending my trek at English Bay Beach Park. To support the channel, click the heart icon to send me super thanks. For updates, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at jforestwood. And if you enjoy this video, smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forsford here. Just on the Aqua Bus Ferry, coming from Granville Island, and we're uh, heading on over to the Hornby uh, Ferry Dock. There's a couple paddle boarders right there. <laughs> Gotta give it up to uh, the Aqua Bus. They uh, run an awesome service, and this is one of the quickest ways to get from from the west side, which would be right on over there, Granville Island in the Fairview neighborhood, over here to the west end, here in the downtown core. There's the Hornby Street dock right here. And they're just getting it all hitched up right now. They just gotta pull it on. Just waiting for it to pull in it. There you go. I got it. Let's go. Thank you. And let's head on up the dock and on to the mainland. It is low tide right now, as you can see. Look at all those mussels. The crows are gonna have a feast. And because it is summertime, you just gotta pay attention. Sometimes they'll have a booth up here. And you just line up for your booth and you can come on up and you can get your tickets. Let's take a look at the aqua bus before we go. There's the bus that we were on right there. Nice little boat. It gets you to where you need to be. Otherwise you have to go all the way across the Granville Street Bridge. And that could take a little bit of time. <laughs> And we'll walk along the seawall path here for a little bit. The bridge that you can see ahead of you there, that would be the Burrard Street Bridge. And that'll take you over to the Kitsilano neighborhood, as well as the Fairview neighborhood. Kitsilano being on that side of the bridge, Fairview neighborhood being on this side of the bridge. And of course, if you look on over there, there is Granville Island in all its glory. It is a busy, bustling place today. So you can go in the back catalog and you can check out the Granville Island video. 
And if I haven't posted it yet, of course, I'll post it in a couple of days. So it'll be up with that, this suite of videos nonetheless, regardless of the order that I put them up in. <laughs> let's keep walking here. Oh, and let's see well, Pat. You can see several people out and about today. Great little day to be out. <laughs> Enjoying the sun and the fun. Or in this case, the overclass clouds. <laughs> Yeah, we'll keep walking here. And here they have a few different bars and restaurants. Of course, you just passed Tasty. It's more like an izakaya. A Japanese bar, and then this one is a, your Japanese bar as well. Over here, Japanese cuisine. You can see there, got a bunch of people in today. And then up ahead of us here, at the end, this is your beach app bar and grill right on over here. And they're having the morning brunch. This is definitely a popular jive spot right on over here. There's a couple of scooterists. Yeah, we'll keep a walk in here. Over here, this is a, a community garden, believe it or not. Nice, large floral displays over here. Quite beautiful. Gotta give up to the community in around this place who maintains this garden. It looks absolutely stellar. Look at the colors. Beautiful colors. Just walking underneath the Barrage Street Bridge. And we'll continue walking in this direction. And then we'll loop on up to uh, Beach Ave. Been on the stretch of the seawall not too long ago, so we'll go shoot a little bit of beach out. Nice little stretch down here in the west end. Because we're on this side of Burrard Street and the Burrard Street Bridge, we are in the west end. <laughs> Before we were in the downtown. And of course, you can also catch a ferry over here. I rode with the Aquabus Company, but the Falls Creek Ferries will take you on over here as well. And they're pretty good too, and they're competitive. Sometimes they're cheaper than Aquabus, sometimes they're more expensive than Aquabus. But generally, generally, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. And that white tent out there, surrounded by police officers. Mm. That's usually a scene that you don't want to see as someone who's unalive. <laughs> or someone who's been unalived. <laughs> wow, that is definitely a crime scene. <laughs> we'll stay away, we'll stay on the beach here, but yeah, they put those tents up to protect the area. So something happened last night after, after the festival. 
after the fireworks competition. And obviously, hopping down here. I think we'll stick on this part of the seawall path for a little bit. Let's get another angle of that tent. I think I can switch to zoom. I don't normally switch to my zoom, but I'm going to switch to my zoom right now. This is newsworthy material. We'll zoom on in in a minute. If the camera starts moving up and down, you know why I don't normally do zooming. <laughs> Not a big zoomer. There we go. Uh, we're not going to get much more than that. But yeah, that is definitely a police tent right there. And we'll zoom back out. And we'll boom back to the up and down. <laughs> yeah, I did that pretty well. Now nah, we're not going to go and stick our nose in that. It doesn't hurt looking at it. Mm -hmm. Something happened here last night. Mm -hmm. We'll head on up to Beach Ave uh, over here behind the uh, cafe. Uh, yep, there was over 500,000 people down here yesterday. The see all path right along here at Sunset Beach is one of the routes that people use to leave. <coughs> and there's always. <laughs> some bad seeds in the group so what can you say what can you do sometimes people have beef and the beef heads in that direction unfortunately if the police are on it already they're probably gonna figure it out <laughs> and in that case i'd watch out for the person who's gonna get caught especially nowadays because once october the 25th passes Right, it's going to be new legislation coming in and probably some mandatory minimums. minimums. A uh, court case in Canada moves very, very slowly. So, what can you say? What can you do? <laughs> there. That looks like the ambulance. Yeah, it's right next to the police car. There's a police car behind the bike sign over there. I'll pick up the body and put it in there of the unalived person. Wow, I never thought I'd see one of those tents. I've seen it twice now. <laughs> twice. You'll see that also in Toronto from time to time. Big cities, big problems. Same thing over here in Vancouver. Big cities, big problems. We'll head up the hill here. And this is the field here at Sunset Beach Park. Beautiful field. It's bleached by the sun right now, but uh, once you get a little bit of rain, those strands of grass tend to turn green for a few days. And then they'll turn <laughs> back to brown once they uh, start getting bleached by the sun again. And this is Beach Ave right here. There's Beach Ave and there's our and there is Sunset Beach Park and part of Sunset Beach. Beautiful eh? Yeah, 
Yeah, let's keep walking here. Uh, beach half. <laughs> Not sure if you're supposed to be cycling and on your phone. <laughs> I think that's the same as driving and on your phone. <laughs> or scooting and on your phone. <laughs> but hey, okay, let's see, what can you do? There's the bike path right here along Beach Half. Very popular. Two lanes, one going one way, one going the other way. Excellent place to come on down. And it's also a great artery route too. You can see there's food delivery people that use this all the time too. Especially when Demon Street down at the end here, where Beach splits off and goes into Stanley Park and Demon Street keeps heading through a retail area in the Demon Village on Demon Street. That's where you can get some of those uh, <laughs> restaurants that a lot of people like to order take out from. Like Babylon, Mediterranean Grill, Amba, <laughs> Sushi Aboard, <laughs> Frying Pan, all those types of restaurants. And goes a unicycle. I more of those these days. <laughs> and there's a couple of the locals, a few of the locals there, three of them. <laughs> Canadian geese, otherwise known as cobra chickens. <laughs> or <laughs> in my case, hey, just passing. <laughs> just talking to the geese. It was like, <laughs> looking up at me. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm not going to bother you at all. <laughs> you do not want to tangle with them. <laughs> they are fierce fighters and they are very, very strong uh, compared to their size. I'll keep walking here on Beach F. So it gives you an opportunity to see some of the housing that's down here. You can see there's not really a single family dwelling homes. It's all condos down here. Especially along Beach Ave where you got the waterfront view. Uh, and you can see a radio station. Uh, right. And like I said, this is where the fireworks were yesterday. So there's Stein still up from when the fireworks were on. And you're not, right? I oh, we need to watch along a beach out here. Oh yeah, there's a few police officers just in some of these black cars here undercover. And then there's just regular people too. <laughs> Heading over to that scene. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looks like they're measuring over here with this uh, rope on the line how many bikes are coming across right now. Ah, there goes the number 23 bus right there. Small little 15 seater. Does the job though for that route. We'll see those 15 seaters down here for the 23 route that runs between English Bay Beach and Pacific Central Station over in Chinatown. And then more often than not, you'll see these 15 seaters more often over in the mountain areas, like Lynn Valley and Bella Cara, and Coquitlam, that type of thing, where they still have viable routes, but they don't need the big, larger buses. Both They don't need the articulated, both the larger right. single buses, individual buses that aren't articulated. And the 15 seater will do. Uh, 
and that allows people in those more rural or remote suburbs the opportunity to use the great TransLink Transit that is here in the city. There's always hiccups and issues with unions and all that type of stuff. But TransLink, you got to give it, a, <laughs> give it a big up on there. And uh, West Coast Mountains is just part of TransLink. That's where our bus drivers come from. They just do an amazing job <laughs> each and every day. <laughs> and sometimes they don't get, get thanked enough. So if you're uh, with one of these Vancouver bus drivers today, give them a thanks. And let them know they're doing a good job because they get us out and about and around town. And they're not like the TTC back home. TTC does a pretty good job too, but too many, my only criticism for TTC is too many ghost buses and too many ghost streetcars on the schedule. Get your schedule straight. I don't want to be waiting for 20 minutes and then a scheduled bus just doesn't show up. And I'm looking at it and it says now. <laughs> it, the bus should be here. And then I have to wait another 20 minutes and then see if another bus shows up. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> Over here in Vancouver, they got it synced with Google. So if a bus doesn't show up, they say it's being rescheduled. Okay, and then it's two minutes late. Sometimes it's two minutes ahead, so. That's it. That's where Toronto used to head. <laughs> Not other than that, a lot of TTC back home, but TransLink's just doing a, a level up from, from that. So thank you, TransLink. Let's keep going here huh? on Beach Ave. Uh, over here, they got some of the stages for the Honda Celebration of Lights. You can see the barge out there in the water. And you got the Inukshuk Point. And they had a little bar area. I didn't pay like $250 to get into that one. And I think the ones over here are like 100 or 200 or 300 for the booths. And then there is literally food trucks along this section right here. <laughs> there is so much going on, I couldn't show you everything. So let's show you something different next time around. This will be Wednesday. <laughs> Let's keep walking here. <laughs> nice to see people enjoying the day. Haven't had an overcast cloudy day in a, a while. There's some rain falling down from it, but nothing like uh, extreme that makes me want to go inside or cover up the camera or anything like that. So, rather pleasant. Just walking behind the booths that are here for the fireworks show. Oh, the fireworks show, it is now Sunday. We're gonna have a fireworks show on Wednesday and another fireworks show next Saturday. So it should be a good time. <laughs> There's gate 10 up ahead. Private group entrance. <laughs> it's 
So if you want to have a nice little booth or box seat for the event, quite a good event. It's worth it. <laughs> it's definitely worth it. Uh, most people are just happy being on the beach. They want to be surrounded by all the other people. Part of the vibe. Part of the beach vibes. <laughs> I'm part of the English Bay experience and you're here in town. Then over here they had a nice little reserved area with umbrellas. This was in the box seats over here. That was the lounge. So you got a seat. That's a good view. A little bit cheaper than the boxes. You can see the prices all online. And there's still spaces. Probably not for the boxes, but probably for the other stuff. A <laughs> heron and seagulls if I was just out of fight. <laughs> Oh wow, the heron is going after the seagulls. <laughs> I can't show it on camera, it's too far away. The drama is real though. There's the beer garden right there for you. The drama is real. Anyways, folks, I'm going to grab a seat on over here and chill out. <laughs> These gates right now, the event's over, so we don't have to worry about it. We can sit down on over here. <laughs> These fences are just to protect the palm trees. So anyways, thanks for coming along today. And just remember to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later, okay? Have a good day.